Hello everybody and welcome back to Birthdays at the Beginning. Where today I'm going to have a quick look in the library first because I haven't played in a little while and I need to know exactly what I'm working on today. So I believe that I need to be bringing the cube temperature down a bit at the moment. How down? It depends really. But one thing we need to do is get Nessie back. So I need to try and work out how Nessie comes back. I think for Nessie we need humans. Um, so Nessie is an animal semi similar to Plesiosaurus that emerged in very wide flat shallows. It has adapted to cool climates and was named by humans. So we need Nessie back. We have some Parcheoraptor and we have some Velociraptor at the moment. So we do have some dinosaurs. I don't know whether Nessie will come back as we cool the cube, but we'll have to see. Because it's going to be important to get Nessie back now. Right, cube temperature is 41 degrees right now. Let's go into the cube and see what it's aiming for. Right, it's, it's still 42 degrees. That's pretty horrendous. Okay. Um, we have one global cooling. I'm going to use it now. I just brought it down to 40. Which is pretty bad. We need to be much cooler than that. Because most of the stuff I'm looking at in here is like 25, 30 degrees. Let's see. So this guy wants it to be below 13 degrees in the shallows. That's very, very cool. And once we have that 13 degree temperature in the shallows, and also all of this needs to be extinct. So it needs to, we need to cool this cube right down. A lot. Like a lot. Um, we could try and get that, which uh, once we get below sort of 30 degrees, that might turn up because we've got some of the other different starfish. Don't have any of that. All that. Got a few of those. So those are going to need working on. The butterflies are going to need working on. But that needs a really cool temperature. And that one doesn't really care. But I've got no idea. Needs snowy rivers with abundant water. Well, we have some snowy rivers in the mountains. Plenty of them. So I don't see why that's not around yet. But that's going to be one of those annoying ones to get probably. And these guys need like sort of 21 degree shallows. Then it's going to need really, really cool shallows. So we need it down to about 20 degrees for those. So yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I think that is the the next one to try and get. Whether I'll be able to or not, I'm not sure. Because I don't have enough of the other starfish around. That one's meant... That one will t maybe turn back. Or maybe come back. When the temperature goes down. That one doesn't get birthed until 41 degrees. Wow. We'll see what happens there. But I'm going to cool the cube down to about probably 30 odd degrees to start with. And to do that, I'm actually going to need to raise the land a ton. So let's see what we can do. Got to be something we can do to try and get this. And I would probably say that we're going to end up pulling some more land up into the sky. I think that's going to be the easiest thing to do. At this point, I'm not that worried about what it does to the look of the cube. I just want to try and get these organisms. So we're just going to pull this all the way up to the sky. I can always pull it back down again, shape it a bit later. Thirty-nine. 
39 still. So this is all about getting the cube to the right temperature. In fact, I do have shinies on the map as well. Let me just uh, quickly go to... Oh, get out of there. It's easier when I can just see the vegetation because I'll see how many shinies I have on the map. But I might be able to, if I can pick up another global cooling, that might help. Take me forever to float down from the sky there. Whee! Okay, do that a bit quicker. So I'm just going to pick these up. They're mostly around the river to the back here. Just, uh see if any of those are global cooling because it might just mean that I have to do a little bit less terraforming if I can get another one. They'll probably all be field sources, you watch. They will all be field sources, there will not be a single global cooling there at all. La 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 la. There's one there, and there's one in C. Just over here. Right, let's see if we've got any... Ah, I don't know, I'll stick you there. Nah, let's pull them all up. Right. No, we didn't get any. Darn it. Okay, that's um... Carry on terraforming this then. Making, we are making the wall. That's what we're doing. This is the wall, okay? Game of Thrones fans. Tank. Minus one, yay! See, now because we're sort of building it from right the way down in the ground, it's going to be a nightmare to fix, so... And from sea level and stuff, it's making a big difference to the temperature. Oh, this is horrible. So I make my cube look really nasty. Really nasty. Truly, truly nasty. But it will do what I need, which is to bring the temperature down. I just come over by one here. Hello, sky being. Sky Dinosaur? Are you a Sky Dinosaur? I don't think it is. I don't think that there is such a thing as a Sky Dinosaur. Thirty-three now, that's good. It's taking ages for the things to come up. Thank goodness I have field sources though. This would have taken forever otherwise. And I have no doubt at all. Oh no, Diplocolis, I'm so sorry. Poor Diplocolis. So at this point I am just bringing the land up out of the sea to sky level. So that should make a big difference to the temperature. It should do anyway. 30 degrees, that's kind of what we wanted. Let's go back out and see what this looks like. Probably pretty horrendous. Ew, look at that disgusting big wall in the middle of nowhere. My beautiful cube has been wrecked. It's going to take ages to sort that out. 
but this is just to get the last few species so it's not too much of a worry in most of this series the cube looked lovely so let's just let time go a lot of things are dying out I'm happy with that things are also being born and I'm happy with that, but I can't see any of them because of all the warnings. So the cube is changing very, very much. Oh, something new turned up. Ah, uh, uh, stop, stop. I don't even know if that new thing will be there anymore. I, I took too long to get it. Um, I bet I did take too long as well. Can't see it. Let's go into view mode. Oh no, it's up up at the top there. Okay. I expect I could make this look pretty if I wanted to. Up we go. <gasps> okay, so Mr. Golden Butterfly apparently maybe also needs to be in the sky. In the mountains. No, at the top of the sky. So, oh, Croesus. Fantastic. So that was one of the ones I was kind of worried about changing the temperature. And look, it's by my, it's my golden butterfly. It's by my golden tree. Let's see if I can get a shot with the golden tree and the golden butterfly together. Not really. Okay, well, I'm sure I can get something out of that. Right, let's get the UI back on. And get out of view mode. Yay, golden butterfly. So that's our first new thing of the day. So that is now us down to, I think, I think we had 14 things to get. So that's now us down to 13. But I still have to, this, the air temperature still isn't quite right yet. So we're still going to just let the cube do its thing. And see what turns up, see how it ends up. We've got yetis and things back now. What I'm hoping is that um, Nessie will come back, uh, will be happy to come back. So we're now at 29. Lots of things balancing out still. Lots of things coming back, lots of things dying. It's all just giving it a chance to, to do its thing. So, so I think that's the snow leopards and stuff back. How's the cube? It's cooling and cooling and cooling. at the point where things are starting to no more things are really getting born anymore a few things are dying out I see and then there's a new birthday okay so let's have a look in the library now and see how things have changed so we have the golden butterfly now I'm super happy with. So we're just missing this one. Which is a primal butterfly, which we have a lot of. Um that wants two to eight degree shallows. Now I could maybe try and force that one with a cool stone. And a little bit of a um a push on the primal butterfly. Maybe I could put an evolution seed on that and I could yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll try and get the butterflies finished. These guys, um, it's very close to the right temperature for them to be born now. But we still don't have any other starfish. So I think maybe finding an ophiroid and using the evolution seed on that and seeing what turns up might just help a little bit. 
I really want that guy back. But that's oh, it's too um, too warm for starfish at the moment, so we might need to cool it down a lot more. And then warm it up. Or find get a little bit of sea, a little bit of shallows down to 20 degrees. We want shallows down to 2 degrees as well. So we'll work on the butterfly first, and then we'll try and work on the starfish and see if we can get the starfish to come back. And then we'll see if we can get the... Um, their land actually. Yeah, I could maybe get starfish back and then just lower it a couple more degrees for that. Work on the butterfly first. So two degrees to eight degree shallows I want. So let's get back down there and try and make some shallows very, very cold. And we'll see what we get. So shallows around here, I think. Happy with that. Going to get a cold stone. I'm going to try and make it two degrees. At the moment it's 29 degrees, which is frustrating. Two to eight, so if we lowered it by... Twenty. No, we need to lower the temperature of the entire cube by one or maybe two degrees. And that will be good for that starfish anyway. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to fly up here. So pick up all these and see if we've got any global coolings. They'll all be field sources, won't they? Oh, there's loads of them as well. Kind of annoying. I made such a pretty cube and now I've got to sort of ruin it with this big mountain thing. But I think there's going to be so many temperature changes that are needed that I'm not too worried at the moment about making that look pretty. I missed one. I will go up through the mountain. So high up, isn't it? We'll just get most of them. And then we'll go back and get the stragglers. Okay, did I get any global cooling chat at all? No. Okay, let's go and just make the mountain a bit bigger. I only need it to cool by like one, maybe two degrees. Just gonna fly up really quickly. So if I just make this a little bit bigger. With a field source. takes so long so that's down to 28 that's minus two that's exactly what we needed so minus 60 up here we so now when i put my cool stone down it's now sort of 29 here but if i put a it should come down by a couple of degrees anyway because of the change to the cube. So if I change it by 20 degrees, then that should be about right for the little butterfly that we wanted. So let's go and see how that works. See if that does anything. Let some time pass. Oh, straight away, Zanculus Borealis came. Stop time. Stop time. I mean, really, stop time. I wasn't expecting that for a while, but I suppose we have been chilling the cube down. I thought a lot more stuff needed to be extinct. But maybe enough stuff is. I, I don't know. I didn't really try for that one. It just came along. I thought I had to really cool the whole cube down for that. But I didn't. There it is. 
Any other new stuff? So I'm quite happy with that because that means if I keep that there for a little bit, I might be able to get the other squid. Yeah. And I need to keep it there for the butterfly anyway. So let's just go and see what else happens when we start time again. So that's two things now. We are so close to finishing. Whoa, marine butterfly. Did it go extinct? I saw something go extinct almost immediately. Um, right, view mode. No, I think it's still there. Hello, marine butterfly. You are my last butterfly. You were even harder to get than the golden butterfly. We got the golden butterfly before we got you. But that is all the butterflies done. Well, it is a nine star butterfly, apparently. So that I think that is actually a harder one to capture. I think it actually is harder to capture. Let's have a look in the library. But I think it's harder to capture than the golden one. That's a nine star and the golden one is only a six star. Yeah. I think because it needs such specific um, temperature conditions, but that is all of the butterflies now. So what have we got? We've got a little spider there that needs things to be really cool. I could still mutate in a fuller and try and get that. But I don't know why that hasn't come along yet because it's... It needs low birth moisture. So we need a cold desert for it, I would say. I'll go chill the desert and I'll see if we can get that. Um, cool shallows, 25 degrees. 15 to 21 degree coral. As if taking the place of that. So that needs to, needs to be extinct before that will come along. So I'm hoping that now that has that has once been there, that that will come along when the sea gets cool enough. That was deep sea. So I can finish these corals off very, very soon, hopefully. Everything over there, I've got everything. Yep, got everything. Finished the fish with this guy. Hoping that guy will come along. Now, what's their adaptation temperature? They can go all the way up to 23 degrees in the shallows. Twenty-three to twenty-nine on the land. I need to get this guy. I have loads of xyloplats. I'll try and get the starfish. I'm going to try. I'm going to not move the cool stone yet. Um, because we do have the right temperature for it. So I'm going to try and find xyloplax and I'm going to try and evolve it, I think. I'll probably do a double evolve and mutation to try and get that last starfish. So we're on the hunt for xyloplax in the deep sea. Just needs a little nudge, that one, I think. So I need a starfish in the deep sea. I'm not really seeing any starfish down here. Seeing lots of uh, spino medusa and things like that. Sometimes it's hard to see down here. Oh, there, xyloplax, right. That was darn hard to see. So, uh, let's mutate and generally mess about with it and hope that it's friend comes along. As I say, it's the right temperature for it. Let's just start time. See what happens. Pecten has come back. That's good. I think that might be a starfishy type thing. Trying not to let it go too fast in case it comes along and then goes immediately extinct or something. 
not worried about the butterflies anymore. Fast forward a little bit. now things are going extinct I might try that again with the starfishes but I might need to make it cold and then warm again I might need to make it so the starfish and stuff come back because I don't think that worked gonna see what else we can do then that starfish might have to wait till the end I'm not sure but Zankia's Borealis began to spawn well a good population of those so there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting this guy now and then we're gonna need Nessie so the queue the needs to pull even more Three to eleven deep sea. We might need to actually warm the deep sea a bit. Have a look at the, how warm the deep sea actually is. What, is there anything else that we need to get? These corals as well. They need really, really cool sea. Like twenty-one, fifteen. the shallows that's the sea well now we've got all the really cold stuff in the shallows why don't we try just having shallows of kind of like they can live all the way up to 23 degrees so why don't we try just putting a, a chill stone in that cools it down a little bit so maybe to like 10 10 degrees or something by 10 degrees I mean I'm hoping that Zankalus Borealis won't die out, but we'll see. So I'm going to take this stone, this 20 degree stone up, and put a 10 degree stone in its place. Okay, let's see what that does. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be in that sort of... That sort of temperature range in the shallows. Starfish are back, which is good. That'll help. Hydrophis is back, which is our water snakes. It's generally waiting around for the last few things. They're not easy. I think 19 degree shallows might be a bit cold. But nothing particular has popped up, so what were we looking for? It was one of the corals, wasn't it, I think, that I thought would maybe pop up at that time. Oh no, that's in the sea, so it was this one, I think. 15 to 25 degree shallows, well there's 19 degree shallows. Often lives near Esenia. What's Esenia? Why wouldn't it surprise me if that was Esenia? Oh no, here it is. Oh, there's loads of that. So that's not a problem. Cool climates appeared after Mesoliminus vanished. Oh, we still got a few of those guys. We shouldn't really. Oh, it needs to be below 27 and then they'll die out. Okay, those guys need a really cool desert. That starfish will be born from 23 to 29. 
Yeah, I'm gonna bring the cube down to 27 degrees now, or 26. That's what I'm going to do. Because we need that thing to die out. So just one more little bit up here. Maybe that a bit faster. Flying through the sky. Gonna do add a little bit more to the, the wall. The field source. Twenty six. Okay, we were aiming for twenty seven, but that's fine. Twenty six will do me. So I'm going to just see what turns up at twenty six degrees. Think a few things will. There we go. As soon as that thing died out, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is that we're going to get. Where are you? You're over there. Ooh. No, up we go. Let's go over like this. So there should be a little tiny sort of thing in the water here. Little mollusky kind of thing. Yeah, there we go. So that's the arthropods finished. So in my library now, I've finished those guys. Oh. I'll go into the library from view mode. No, no, no. So yeah, that's those guys all finished. We don't have that guy though. That guy is a fake ops that thrives in cool temperature shallows, minus five to five. That didn't show up when we cooled it right down. Which is interesting. And a lot of this stuff wants super, super cool temperatures, so I might just do a really, really cold bit right at the end to try and get them. Right, so has that died out now? Yes, it has. So that should be a long... As soon as the sea is 15 to 21. It really is a case of just slowly cooling everything down now, I think. That one, we can't go below 23 or that one won't come. So I'm going to try and um, mess with Xyloplax again, I think. That starfish is going to annoy me. But there's a different temperature now, so it might be better for it. I don't know. I just know that the guy was down here that I need to mutate. So we'll try that. We'll see if that helps us to get anything new. We're so close now. Like, let's look in the library see how many we need to get. We have captured 280, and there are fully, um, oh, actually we're better going down, 292. We are so close. Okay, let's see if that does anything. I imagine it might take me several episodes to get these last few things. You never know. I'm hoping not, though. Lots of things dying out. Magacantho is back. Quite a few things are coming back that weren't too happy with the temperatures and things before. Pectin. So we've got something new. Whether it's what we wanted, I don't know, but uh, something new is here. I'm actually quite happy. Oh yeah, it is. It's my land starfish. Starfish are done, which is good because um, I was worried about bringing the temperature down too much before those guys came. So I was a little bit worried that I would have to lower the temperature and they wouldn't come along quickly enough and everything would be a bit rubbish, but it's fine. 
Humans are thriving again, especially modern humans. But they seem to really want to be like more up here though. But the more developed the cube gets, the, the quicker things come back. Like once their first birth seems to be the hardest. I don't know if that's just me making things up, but having all these birds, these dinosaurs, cows, butterflies, frogs, all sorts of things. Just hanging around. Makes it look really vibrant and full of life. Okay, let's go back out to macro mode and just see what we want to do next because uh, that was really all about getting that starfish. So we really want, I think, to go and get these last four. So just make sure that the giant squid stuff is around because we have plenty of these Anclus borealis. They would be happier with a cooler temperature, I think, but uh, they're still hanging around. You need super cool temperatures, you need very cool temperatures. You need slightly more cool temperatures. You need really cool temperatures. There's nothing here that needs a temperature above about 21 degrees now. So I am going to cool the cube down. Because we finished now all the way up to here. And we finished all the plants. So literally everything you can see on my screen right now. That's all we've got to get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is there one more thing somewhere? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just need eleven more things. I can see everything that I need to get now. So let's work on um, this thing and the spider, and then we'll cool the whole cube down to twenty-one. I think that's a good thing to do. Okay. So firstly, let's try and cool the whole cube down to 21. And I'm hoping that if I do this, Nessie will just come straight back. <laughs> might not though. I might have to do all sorts of funky stuff to get Nessie to come back with the chill stones. I'm sure I can do it though. If if the only thing that I'm working on is getting Nessie to come back, then I will get Nessie back. So we're just gonna keep going with our wall, our giant icy wall. Start to stop all the white walkers coming to get us. Yeah, that's 25. Because I'm doing this into the sea now, it's making big temperature changes. Right, one more and that should be 21, I think. Yeah, 21, right. So the next thing I wanted to do was to try and uh, right, I'm going to look at whether I need temperature changes for the giant squid thing. So these guys are the Lycotoothis, and those are the guys I want. So the ocean here is at minus, uh, is at zero degrees. So it actually needs to be, it needs to be warmer. Now, let's have a look at, in our library, if I can do this with a warm stone, I would rather try and do it with a warm stone. These guys need 3 to 11 degrees. So if I put a minor warm stone down here, that would make it a little bit nicer for them. And they might arrive. There we go, so make that 10 degrees, make it a little bit warmer for them. And we'll do the spiders next because I've used my stone up um, to try and get them. 
Once they spawn, their adaptation temperature should take them to minus a few. Eek, Xanthus Borealis is... Okay! Stop time! Something came along. If the squid came along, Xanthus Borealis actually don't need to be there anymore, so I'm happy for them to die out. It's because I moved the warm stone. I've come over here, assuming it'll be over here. But it's not. It's somewhere else. It's in the shallows. What have we made? Turtle thing. Shark. If there's any of them. Something around here apparently is oh is it a coral? Yes. Well done. Okay, now I need to have a look at that fish because we need it for our giant squid. I think that's gonna be one of the maybe one of the last corals that we need. Let's, uh, look in the library yet again. There's a lot of looking in the library at this point. Didn't manage that. Sanclus Borealis has gone away. But that's because we took away its nice uh, 13 degree shallows. Oh, that's annoying because that's hard to get. So we're going to need to try and get that to come back. So to do that, we just basically need um, the remaining species are also extinct, so we'll just need to cool the shallows a bit and it'll probably come back. And then we can work on that. But maybe, before I even do that, I'll work on the, um, on the spiders. And then go back to it. So, we've got some deep sea that needs 1 to 7 degrees, so that needs to be very slightly warmer actually. Or slightly cooler, and then I'll use a little warm stone. See, that's minus three degrees. That's going to need, need to be a bit cooler. Thirteen to nineteen degree shallows. We should be able to get that. And then warm shallows. So I'll just use a, a stone to get that one. So we could finish off the coral quite easily, I think, very very soon. Probably going to need another episode to get all of these, because at this point now, still need to get that spider. We still need to get that. Then we need the corals, and we need these things, and that is that's everything. So. I think that I'm going to end the episode here for today. Um, I'm really happy we got our golden butterfly. We filled in quite a lot of the, the little extra little bits that we needed just to, to finish off so that we can just focus more now. So I think I only have about 10 things left to get and we're really working hard on them. Um, probably another couple of episodes worth and we will be finished. The whole tree will be done. All the work that I put into that. Crazy, huh? Yeah, that will be the whole lot done. So that's the end of the episode for today. We'll go back to the cube and have a nice look at it. Look at my beautiful wall. Oh, look at how beautiful that wall is. Not. Um, yeah, so we're just really trying to... We're wrecking the cube, basically, in order to try and get the last few species. And then that will probably be the end of birthdays. But I'm really, really excited to get the last few things and see if there's any sort of cutscene at the end or if we get back home after it. Uh, I was really disappointed when we couldn't get back home, so I was quite excited that, you know, he promised, Navi promised if we could get all the animals that we could get back home. So 
yeah so that's the end of the episode for today i hope you liked it if you did then please leave me a like below if you'd like to see more birthdays then please subscribe and we'll uh, we'll see what happens at the end i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome